If you have an online business, chances are pretty good that you're doing something every single week to keep building your business. So check this out. If you host a regular live event every single week, your website might normally look like this, but during the event, you can change it up and you can have it look like this to direct people to your event. Or if you and your team are working every day from nine to five at your desk and you want to encourage people to engage with you, you can have your website display something like this during business hours and you can change it to this in the evening and on the weekends. So imagine the possibilities with this feature, the ability to show different content based on the time of day or day of the week, so you can customize your user experience and drive more engagement. We'll go over how to do it coming right up. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do so. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So the ability to show different content based on the time of day or day of the week is made possible by the conditional display feature inside of Thrive Architect. And we're specifically going to be using the time between rule. As we quickly go over how to use this feature, I want you to think about how you can use this for your business. Remember that conditional display applies to background sections, content boxes, and more. And you can put anything you want inside of those containers, text, images, buttons, videos. So don't be afraid to get creative. All right, so here is the home page of my website. And I've got this section here that invites people to sign up to get a free ebook. But let's say that once a week on Tuesdays from 10 until 12, I host a live Q and A chat, maybe on YouTube or Instagram. And during that time, I would like this section to direct people to my live chat. So let's say I would like it to look like this. This is actually super easy to set up. So let's go ahead and let's open this page in Thrive Architect. So start with selecting the section that contains the info that you want to change. For me, that would be this background section here. I'll click on it and make sure that background section is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then I'll go to the conditional display tab. And I would like to essentially create another version of this section. But if you click add display, it will add a blank background section that might be useful for what you need to do if you want to start from scratch. But in this case, because I want my second version to look more or less like the original here, I will click on the default display and I'll simply duplicate it. Then I'll rename this display just so that I can keep things straight. And I'll click on the new display that I just created. Whichever display is orange is the one that you're seeing active on the screen. So now I'll go ahead and make my changes. I'll start with changing the headline and the text below it. And now I'll link up this button to my live stream. So I'll click on the button, make sure that button is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then I'll go to animation and action. Now there's already a link here, so I'll just go ahead and edit that. And I'll type in the URL. Now the tricky thing with the live stream is that depending on where you hold it, the link might be different each time. So just watch out for that. But if it's on something like Instagram, you can simply link to your Instagram profile. Now remember, you can use this feature for lots of different things. You don't always have to have a button here that takes people somewhere. You can also just display a message saying, call now to place your order or call now for a free consultation. And you can have those be displayed during business hours. Also as a quick reminder, don't forget to make sure that this will look good on tablets and mobile. Since I'm using a template that came with Thrive Architect, everything should look good already. And it does. Next, when you're finished customizing this display, you'll need to set your conditions. So let's go back to our background section here and we'll go back to conditional display. And we'll need to set the conditions for this new display that we just created. So I'll click the conditions button here and we do want to display content. Now let's go ahead and add a new condition set. We want this condition to be displayed on Tuesdays from 10 until 12. So let's go ahead and set the time and date. Then in the next dropdown, we will select day of the week. 
and we would like this to be displayed on Tuesdays. And then to select the time, let's go ahead and add a rule. Again, we're going to select time and date. Then we're going to select the time and we want the time between. And let's set this to display from 10 a.m. to 12. And also be sure to set up your time zone in your WordPress settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's save these conditions. Now let's save our work and let's go ahead and preview this page. To view your displays, go to the orange button at the top of the screen and select the one that you want to see. All right, so hopefully you can see just how easy it is to use conditional display and the time between rule in Thrive Architect. This is just one of the many ways you can get creative with your website to drive engagement and in the end, get more conversions. You can get Thrive Architect and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.